In an earlier lesson, we talked about the importance of making time to write. By making time in your diary, you are giving priority and importance and focus to your goal of creating regular, consistent written output. What I want you to look at now is scheduling an exact time when you will write. Let's imagine that it's already late and you're watching this wherever you are, but that tomorrow you're going to write for the first time as part of or as starting on your consistent writing habit. What time are you going to put in your diary? Take, grab a pen and paper and put a time in your diary for tomorrow for when you're actually going to write. As we've already said, you could be an early bird, you could be a night owl. What we've got to do now is within your diary, mark out time tomorrow. And I would recommend that you do this for at least one hour. You mark out or you block out one hour of time in your diary tomorrow and you will make a commitment to yourself to turn up at an appointment with yourself to write and to create words. Put a time slot in your diary tomorrow where you will be ready, you'll be at a desk or at a table in a coffee shop or in the library and you will start to write. The Pomodoro method of allocating time to a project works really well with writing. You can download an app on your phone and use that as a support. But essentially what it says is you will write for multiple blocks of time and have a short break in between. Let's say that you've said in your diary you're going to sit and write from 7 o'clock till 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Or from 12 noon till 1.30 if that's your available bank of time. With the Pomodoro method, what happens is you will say to yourself, OK, I'm going to write tomorrow. I'm going to write at 12 noon for 20 minutes. I'm going to stop for five minutes. I'm going to start again after a five minute break. And I'm going to write for another 20 minutes, then have a five minute break and write for another 20 minutes. So if we use that example, you'll have written for an hour, but you'll have written as fast as you can for three 20 minute slots. Use the Pomodoro method to give yourself a sense of speed and a sense of momentum in how you write and when you write. Something else that is useful is the Pareto principle. An Italian economist, Pareto, came up with the observation that 80% of a person's results or 80% of a company's results tend to come from 20% of their activity. And that conversely, 80% of what somebody does is the least productive use of their time, but within a certain allocated 20%, come more and better and greater results. So with the Pareto Principle, what you can do after a week of daily writing is determine which times of the day are the most effective for you and how can you move your diary or adjust your schedule to get more of those slots as the slots that you write in on a consistent basis. Think back to one of the things that we talked about at the very beginning of the course is that if you were to put your head on the pillow in a week's time and you know you haven't written, even though you've enjoyed the course and you've taken notes and you've looked at the material and you've created a class project for yourself. If in a week's time you actually haven't got around to writing, my guess is that you'll be upset with yourself, that you'll be frustrated. You had the intention, but you didn't follow through and commit to doing the work. So let's look at something that can actually help you. Visualize how you will feel over the next full week of seven days you've managed at least four days where, as a brand new habit, as a new pattern of activity, you have actually written on at least four of those days. You'll feel good about yourself and you could actually see the beginning of a document that gives you excitement and belief about how far you can go with this writing activity if you stick with consistent behaviour and regular activity. Think about it like this. In a week's time, You've written consistently on at least four separate days. So you know you can sit down one night and enjoy a film or a social event with friends and family because you've done some writing. You've achieved what was a significant goal this week over the course of the next week. And as a result, you deserve to give yourself some applause, give yourself a little pat on the back, and be grateful for the achievement of this new goal through the regular writing you will have done by next week. You schedule the time in your diary and you turn up for that appointment with yourself. 